Hi Libra, welcome to your March, how they feel, next move, and love messages. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Libra, we are looking at whoever's on your mind, whatever your situation may be. Could be somebody, uh, could be crush, it could be someone you're dating, could be someone you're in separation with. Whatever your situation may be, we're going to find that out with these cards. Then we're going to look at how they're truly feeling, what their next moves are going to be, and what they want to say to you, along with some more love messages right over here. So welcome in, Libra. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip the switch reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to please keep in mind libra if you know something shows up or if you're not really interested it, it just may not be your reading this time but i hope it is and this is for truly people who want to know the person on their mind what's going on and how they feel in their next move i also did a no contact reading that's also out on the channel along with a full moon reading a new moon reading a monthly love reading I'll be doing singles after this, you versus them, and then we go right into April readings already. And I will be starting Twin Flame readings again in April. So, Libra, for those who want to know about their person of interest, let's see, some energy here. The Divine Feminine, okay. There's also a Divine Masculine card here, and very rarely do I get the two of them out in a reading, but we'll see. Manifestation. Well, the Divine Feminine is manifesting something. Compatibility for two people to get along. <laughs> or for two people to be compatible. And self-respect. They're just telling me to kind of look on the bottom of the deck here. Huh. Well, we do have sexual freedom. Hmm, interesting. And we do have commitment on the top of the deck. So... <sighs> So I'm, I'm almost feeling like here, um, Libra, I'm almost getting, and I know this is an energy about how they're feeling, but I'm almost getting the energy of a Libra who's manifesting a very compatible, respecting partner. But since this is not a singles reading, um, this is about somebody either maybe that you know, or you have a crush on, or that you like, or something like that. Um, it could be someone that maybe you're going on a first date with as well, or maybe you're being set up with somebody, but you're kind of hoping here, geez, because I kind of see um, like two people waving at each other, like meeting for the first time. I don't know if you could see that. Kind of hoping, boy, I hope this energy where maybe you manifested this date, you know, and maybe not a certain person, but maybe you manifested um just somebody you'll be compatible with and full of respect and the kind of relationship you want. And now all of a sudden, maybe you're being set up with somebody, like I said, somebody you met on a dating site or somebody you met randomly. Somehow this person is someone either you're meeting for the first time or you're really going to get to know them for the first time. I'm feeling like a first date energy and you're praying and you're hoping, okay, I manifested this and I hope this is what I manifested. That's kind of what I'm feeling here, uh, Libra. So maybe you're, you know, you're watching this and you want to know, maybe you've already been on like one date with them or you met them briefly. So you don't really know them, know them, but you, maybe you have met them. Um, so maybe you're wondering, you know, I'm coming here to see the vibes, like how are they truly going to be, how they're really going to feel, you know, when we go on this date or we get to know each other a little deeper. It's kind of what I'm feeling here. So I'm feeling something very, very, very fresh and new here. And if that doesn't resonate, then maybe you could just omit that part. But that's kind of what I'm feeling. Or maybe, you know, that was the energy when you first met this person before you uh, started seeing them. But let's see. Let's see more here for you. Libra, everything you need to know, Libra, is down below in the description box, along with the um, list of the eight love readings I do here. If you like more general kind of readings, check my smaller channel. Link is below. I only do about two general readings a month, and I'll tell you more about that later. All right, Libra. So let's see what is going on for you, Libra. 
nine of pentacles so single 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 bright single ready to mingle <laughs> High Priestess in Rior. So, yeah, so I feel like you have talked to this person before because a High Priestess upright would be, for me, maybe someone you've never, ever talked to before. So this is very single energy, somebody you have talked to. I don't know to what extent or how much you know them. Yeah, fresh and new. I did say that. That's a yes. Ace of Wands. So there's definitely a mutual attraction to each other. That is for sure. Seven of Swords strength in reverse it could be that okay this is weird i'm getting an energy maybe libra that some of you had like an instant attraction it was like that mutual chemistry or attraction towards each other but there's something about their energy with the seven of swords where it could have been a little misleading because i feel like maybe you agreed to go out with this person but then that strength in reverse you're like I don't know if I should have said yes kind of energy because maybe they came off kind of I don't know the seven of swords in reverse maybe kind of I don't want to say cocky but maybe overconfident or just something about their energy or like mm, I, I don't know you know and the strength in reverse so now you're like oh, I don't know if I should have said yes I don't know so maybe some of you are wondering, you know, was this a real representation when I first met them of their true self? Or was it just a kind of a weird first meeting or something like that? That's kind of what I feel. Ten of Swords in Reverse. So there's still something that has to be... Um, Ten of Swords Reverse, Four of Swords. So somebody's thinking heavily about this. It, no, it could be them. But we do have a soulmate energy here, Two of Cups. So, two of swords, trying to make a decision, like, I just don't, feel like you're going, could it be a blind date? Um, maybe you kind of know them, but don't really know them. Maybe it's kind of like a blind date, like, well, I don't really know that person. Or maybe someone's setting you up, or you kind of met, but you don't really know them. In a sense, it's kind of like a blind date. It's kind of what I see with the blindfold on. It's a lot of thinking about this. Ten of swords, though, is something... Uh, there's still something that has to be experienced with this person. So I don't want to say like it's not over because I don't think this was ever an established relationship, but there's still something Ten of Swords in reverse in the energy that still needs to be further um, experienced or just to see where this goes kind of energy. Hmm. All right. I'm trying to verbalize how I want to say that. All right, so I'm just going to leave it like that, but we're going to see, um, let's see, what are the signs I do have here? I have, uh, let's see, Pisces and Leo showing up. So I don't know if you know this person's sign or not. I don't even know if you know them that well yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe if it's like a friend of a friend or something like that. So you both could be um, thinking about this, about each other as well. Like there was something off-putting, off-putting, I don't know, strange about the energy. Like, uh, I don't know if I made the right choice. I don't know. They're my type. I don't know. So it's kind of like praying here and manifest manifesting that, okay, we'll be compatible, that, you know, it's full of respect and dign dignity and it'll be the right thing. It's kind of what I'm feeling here. All right. All right, so let's see. I'm always feeling like that's how you're feeling, but they definitely could be feeling that same vibe. All right, so it's definitely Ace of Wands, fresh new energy here. All right, so how are they feeling about you, Libra? I wanted to get a feel, since I feel like it's fresh and new, a feel of the circumstance and energy first. I don't normally do that with these to that extent but with this one I felt like I had to since I feel like it's really really fresh and new well I'm just gonna have to cover that up right there because her knipple is showing and you know YouTube you know they can be very censored all right so <laughs> anyway I don't even know if that would be on camera but just to be safe I've actually seen readers take markers and color in on their cards I'm like really am I gonna have to do that 
it's a freaking drawing, people. All right. So let's see how they're feeling, Libra. King of Wands. Very confident. I felt that. Another Leo card. Very, very confident. Okay. So let me see. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Sun in reverse. Yeah, they're, they're not sure either. Wow. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So they're kind of in the energy too. Like they want to see if you're compatible. They want to see where this could go um, as well. And I, I just heard this person doesn't lack for anything. So they may be very well off. This Five of Pentacles in reverse. Um, but they were uncertain too with that Sun in reverse. There's definitely a lack of clarity here. But Four of Pentacles in reverse is saying that they still want to give into this to see kind of where it goes. So I'm feeling this energy with the King of Wands and the Nine of Swords that they may give off this persona, a very, very overconfident, very, very confident person, but underneath a lot of stress and anxiety. <laughs> so that's why I felt like the energy was off-putting. So if you did meet them once um, or twice or whatever the case may be, you're like, wow, this person is like awkwardly overconfident. That's kind of what I felt. And you're like, something doesn't seem right, but it's kind of like a cover-up for their anxiety or their nervousness, I feel. So that's how they're feeling. So they, they, um, they're they unclear, too. They're uncertain. Um, but they definitely, for Pentacles, they, they don't want to hold back either. They definitely want to invest to see what kind of connection this could be. Definitely here. All right, so we have Leo. They could be a leader of some kind as well, or a boss, business owner, influencer. So maybe someone in the limelight a little bit here. So we do have um, more Leo showing. There's a lot of Leo here. Eight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Magician in reverse. I don't see this person um, going anywhere. Eight of Cups reverse. But the Magician in Reverse, too, is also, like, they're not, um, that's my cat, in case you're wondering what that noise is. So this is a big shock, awakening, you know, change of some kind. That's Aries energy. So I feel like this person is going into it um, with open energy, so whatever happens, happens. So they're not f putting everything into investing into this relationship or connection, because I don't even think it's to that point yet. They're just going to be open, whatever happens, happens. And if they feel, wow, this is like something here, like fireworks, the tower, then they'll put all their energy into it, the Hierophant. But it's just really meeting, getting to know each other. There's my courting, dating, getting to know, and just see where this goes. So they're not going to be like, um, like uh, all over your energy and like obsessive, possessive, and like, oh my God, we have to make this work, you know, like clingy or anything like that i i don't feel that i feel like okay let's just see where this can go so we have gemini virgo aries taurus all right let me just close that door all right sorry guys i leave the door shut the cattle scratch till there's like no tomorrow all right so let's see what else about how they feel so for those of you who are like, well, I don't really know, know them. Um, I haven't really been on a date with them yet. Um, I kind of want to look at their like true energy here. Like what can you expect? But I don't know, let's just see. Let's just see more. This seems very specific for some reason. So I'll have to take it how it resonates for you. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's see. How else? Okay. Cards are like not behaving. All right. I want to ask first, how do they feel? What else do we need to know for Libra about this? I feel like it's a new person. Eight of Swords. Temperance in Reverse. Queen of Swords. Very cautious. There you are, Libra. Five of Wands in Reverse. I don't see like any conflict like they're not coming with conflict but still that stuck energy like temperance is soulmate energy but it's in reverse that stuck energy of like i don't know if we fit i don't know if we're compatible i don't know if they're my type so very cautiously proceeding is kind of what i feel 
But then we do have the lovers as, wow. So they're hoping too that this is going to be that definite soulmate kind of connection here. So I don't see like any conflict surrounding this. Like they don't want, I don't want to say they don't want any conflict or they're not here to cause conflict. And they know that you're cautious too as to maybe you both kind of knew, um, maybe you both said it to each other. We're not really my kind of type, but hey, if you want to go out and see where it goes, <laughs> it's kind of off-putting right there, but that's kind of what I feel. Like, why not? Let's just see, you know, if we're compatible, if we get along, if, you know, this could be something and um, very well could be here. You know, first impressions can be very misleading as well. So we have Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini. Now, I'm not saying that you didn't find each other attractive because a lot of people say, well, if I don't find them attractive, then I can't blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they're definitely, that Ace of Wands was a lot of attraction right off the bat. But as far as talking to this person, um, whether it's, it's through some sort of conversation or meeting them somewhere, maybe it was at a bar, maybe it was, I don't know, maybe it was at a fortune teller, I don't know, we do have the high priestess there. Um, but then talking to them was like, hmm, I don't know. But maybe both said something and said, okay, let's just go out on a date and see where it goes. Knight of Wands. There's that very attractive energy. We do have Six of Cups. I don't feel like this is anyone from the past. It could be a past life connection. Maybe somebody has children. Seven of Cups. I feel like there will be clearing of the uh, confusion here. Let's see. We have uh, Sagittarius showing up. And the Knight of Cups uh, Wands here is very determined energy. Fiery, passionate go-getter. Gets it done. That's that physical attraction. There may be a little hard to hold back from the physical connection here. Well, let's see. So let's see. Um, see, I already kind of feel like there's been a date. So if you already went on a date with this person and it's still iffy up in the air, but you still like are attracted to each other and maybe, you know, said oh we'll have to do it again but now it's been a while and you're like hmm, i haven't heard from them maybe you know maybe this is not going to be a second date i mean we do have two right there a second card out which could be maybe the second date um nine maybe it's been nine days nine of pentacles was the first card out i don't want to say nine weeks because i feel like that's been that would be too long so eight seven two nine days maybe two weeks since you've heard from them and you're like okay well maybe that's it so i think they've been thinking about it here definitely it's stuck in their head like do they want to reach out to libra again for a second date and we do see here i think maybe the second date here may be the charm because we do have two people connecting on a deeper level here so let's see what their next move is going to be the moon so there's a little fair here we did have, uh, well, that Pisces new moon, but we do have that uh, full moon on the 7th. And this these will be coming out on, I do believe, the 7th. No, the 6th, maybe. Let's see. The Page of Swords. So there's communication. They may be checking social media. Eight of Pentacles. They may be checking your social media to see if you um, <laughs> posted anything about the date to see how you're like get a general energy, like how you felt about it. Eight of Pentacles. So they're like, hmm, do we want to put more work, put more work into this? So maybe secretly checking out your social media to see what kind of vibe you're getting, giving off about maybe the date you went on here. Justice, so you are Libra in reverse. I hope you didn't write anything bad. I'm just saying, if that's you know tower for some of you okay i just got a message for some of you it may have been something written now again this sounds very specific off-putting about the date and they may read that and be like wow that doesn't sound like me that doesn't sound like you know i'm almost feeling like if there was something that was said or written and they find out or they read it or whatever and maybe you didn't think, you know, if you're not friends on social media, that they would never see it. Somehow, they may just found you 
and they're seeing saw something and they may be like okay that's almost like they want to f not fix it but like let's do it again because that I felt like that wasn't the real me that's not a true representation of who I am and let's see if we can have a better connection this time is kind of what I'm feeling justice in reverse could kind of be um unfair situation not that you did anything nasty but maybe you know it was a very honest you know not everybody does that if but if that's what happened big shift changer so i feel like they like want to shift something here so they may be contacting you said you know what i i just felt like it didn't go right you know it was just a very awkward you know can we just go out again try it again and just be ourselves and just one more time to see if there's you know I, th I think that's what they want to do here oh so let's see we have pisces uh aquarius libra aries eight of cups yeah so they want to come back here seven of wands so little defensive energy healthy boundaries but there's something divinely guided about this so it's like they're being divinely guided to reach out and say no let's just do this again can we just do it again just one more time and just to see and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but i just feel like it just was the energy wasn't right that's kind of what i feel the energy wasn't right the first time for some reason whatever that means for you but we do have aquarius here so something meant to be here faith hope optimism or streams coming true divinely guided energy healing patience balance two of swords a decision here we do have a two of cups here as something about the second date too too second date may be the true connection here so now some of you may have already gone on that second date but let's see um did i mention the signs oh well i forgot what i had there anyway we got i think i said the signs here anyway let's see so what do they want to say to you If you did go on the second date already, I definitely feel like it went a lot better than the first date. But regardless of the situation, let's see what they want to say. Five of Swords. There could have been some sort of conflicting circumstances surrounding them or the energy that affected you. energy around them or something they were going through or some sort of conflict or something that was affecting the night that like first date or something that's kind of what i'm getting here with the five of swords there could have been like outside interference um or something going on in their life that was interfering on your time together that put a very uneasy energy around it yeah three of swords they may have experienced um something like some sort of tragedy or tragic event or something that happened that was very disappointing or heartbreaking in their life at the time seven of pentacles ten of wands hmm. page of pentacles so interesting let me close that door one more time say one more time it's like one more time can we just do this one more time it's kind of what i'm feeling here so what i'm kind of feeling like here at libra it was a conflict conflict they were conflict they were contending with at the time that was very heart-wrenching and disappointing for them at the time i feel like and and i feel like they were torn to either cancel and reschedule seven of pentacles here like they didn't know what to do so they were examining the whole situation they're like well i don't want to seem like um you know giving libra the cold shoulder so maybe you know even though i'm feeling so weighed down right now by the situation um ten of wands you know i'm just i'm gonna reach out and we're just gonna go anyway page of pentacles here and they also want to tell you maybe they want to tell you what was exactly going on you know last time you were together maybe on that first date or whatever because maybe they didn't really tell you because okay this is like a first date. i can't tell libra all this bull i'm going through right now or a situation um because it's you know would be awkward but maybe they're like page of pentacles you know it's time to be serious and really tell libra what was going on so that libra knows why the energy was so off on that first date and that could be the offer they want to take you out on a second date death here 
So still there's something between you. It's in reverse, though. There's still something between you that has to be um, delved into here. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles. This could turn out to be a long-lasting connection here. That is for sure. Knight of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there's still a lot that has to be um, uncovered here for you know this to go down the path of love and romance. Six of Cups. So there is the return. Maybe a second date. Clear the confusion. Seven of Cups in reverse. Hermit. Again, coming out of hiding. Revealing everything. And the King of Swords. A very truthful, honest energy here. This is Gemini or it could be you, Libra. Three of Wands. So they want to take you out again. Queen of Wands. And there's the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Queen of Wands of Integrity, you know, and the Ace of Pentacles is a serious energy here. So they want to be serious with you and really tell you everything that was happening here. So we have Gemini, or that could be you, Libra, uh, Aries, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So let's see. Let's see. So if some of these um, messages that come out, these are the love messages come out and you're like, well, I don't really know this person on this deep level here to really have them say those things to me. These could be future love messages, you know, the more you get to know this person. Definitely so something could be happening in the next three days. Swords are very, very fast. Could be three hours, three days, three to five hours or days. At the most, maybe 10 days. All right. Let's see here. All right, so let's see, Libra, what do they want to say to you? Again, Libra, on my other channel right now, I have generals going out. Right now, your health, wealth, and destiny is out. So I take a look at your overall emotional, physical, spiritual, mental health, wealth, money, career, and then destiny, the immediate future, and then what spirit has to say regarding all those energies. So it was fun to do a little different. I want to check it out. I am open to love. So they're mo more open. I feel like whatever they were dealing with, I feel like they have that under control now so now they're open to see where this can go i want to spend my life with you oh my gosh i think this, this is going to be future energies i feel like this is too fresh and new for even them to say <laughs> but um you'll be getting married in next october or this could be uh that would be way too soon but um by october this could be a very very serious relationship here All right, let's see. I want to have fun times with you. There definitely was that Ace of Wands up there, that attraction. I feel I do not deserve you. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't really picking up on that. Um, hmm. Okay, so take that how it resonates. I need some more time. Right, let's get one more here. I am hoping we can work it out. Yeah. Sometimes you got to go through a few that don't resonate to get to the ones that do. So just take the ones that resonate here. I feel you are moving farther away. Hmm. So I think the longer uh, they wait here, they know that the more separation there's going to be and more of maybe even, well, less of a chance to kind of rectify that first date <laughs> that's kind of what i feel like they want to rectify the first date like they want to make it right they want they definitely want to show you a better time than that first date was there was something heavy they were dealing with i kind of feel that and they couldn't tell you or they just didn't feel right telling you awkward telling you because it was a first date you don't really delve into that kind of energy on the first date but maybe if you have been talking a little bit online or texting or whatever here and there um they may finally say they might have even said, you know, I'm dealing with something, but, you know, we can go out on another date, you know, in the future, like in another week or two. And maybe you're like, well, they're just kind of blowing me off. They really don't want to take me out. But I feel like they really, really are going to message you. Say, I really want to take you out. I want to rectify that first date. Let's have a real first, second date or however you want to say that. That's kind of what I feel. Or third or fourth date. I mean, how about this resonates for you? So... That's what I have for you, Libra. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.